Hello everybody and welcome back to the crew. And yes, it's not War Thunder for the past, you know, three, four days or however many days I've been doing it. Anyway, long story short, uh, I realised that I haven't showed you the buying process of the crew and doing the customization on your car and everything. So I figured, you know what, let's go out, splash some cash on a new car and show you all the uh, good stuff. I mean, also, slight sidetrack here on the focus, I'll use as an example. Available specs, street, dirt, performance, raid, and circuit. On the focus, you, know, you can only put street, dirt, performance. Fair enough, okay? Bear in mind, raid is essentially dirt, and circuit is essentially performance, from what I can gather. And I have a raid vehicle, so it is essentially a dirt vehicle on steroids, right? Yeah, you can't make that raid. Fair enough, fair enough. You can't make that raid, for some reason. And yeah, and yet I have a Ford Mustang that's Raid. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. Anyway, all that aside, here we go. Look, 15,000 credits. Why do I keep calling them credits? God damn it. I've been playing too much Star Wars lately. $15,000 or all but five grand in crew credits. Uh, I'm going to buy it in... Uh, no, I don't... I, 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 oh, God's sake. All right. Right, we'll do the we'll do the test drive. We will do, do you mind test drive. Yes, right. I'll show you the test drive in track. I wonder if this is the bug. There is a t test track that's bugged. I what one it is. Oh, I think it's good news. See if the shoe fits. Oh, shut up. Anyway. Yeah, this is, in case you're wondering, yes, this is the focus. Uh, this is the car we'll be buying today. And this is, or was, the bugged test track. As you can see, I'm going to follow the arrows, but keep an eye on my radar. See, look, the radar tells me to go straight down, or the map rather, but the arrows are telling me to go left here, I go left. And... Sometimes when you go around that corner, it says you're going the wrong way. And yeah, I don't know why. Because all you're doing is following the track. Ubisoft, fix that! Or I'll slap you around the face with Ezio's sword. Or whatever the hell you are pushing. Me to I love the tail though. It's so, it's so nice. It's so pretty as well, this one. Back in the days of Colin McRae's uh, rally driving and so on and so forth. But anyway, you get the idea with the test tracks. They're all different depending on what city you're in, for obvious reasons. Anyway, you can either carry on uh, doing the three laps or you can just abort. Why you'd want to do three laps, I have no idea. I'd just do one and then abort. But anyway. Yes, yes, skip the movie. Right. Uh, because I'm lazy. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, because I'm lazy. Uh, I'm going to be buying it with uh, 5,000 crew credits because it's cheap. Uh, yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, whatever, no one cares. Full stop. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Now, uh, I will splash cash on this car and show you uh, all the fancy stuff for this. So, let's go to... Yeah, fast travel to that car tune. Because you buy it full stock. But can you do anything in full stock? Uh, let me think now. Uh, no. Um, you have to upgrade your car at, to at least one of the kits. Um, what do we have here? One, two. Look at that. Because you start... Look at that car level. Level one. 157. 256. 366 and then 476 and then 586 so yeah uh, I'm gonna be doing it at level 30 uh, yes please uh, I'm gonna go through my crew credits but I don't mind because I'm gonna be showing you guys things um, so yes crew credits by three grand oh a pretty cutscene with body kits and stuff yes Anyway, yes, brand new car, blah, blah, blah. Get on with it, right. Uh, I won't bother going into the performance for a little bit. Uh, now then, here we have all the different things you can do to your car. For obvious reasons, colour. Stickers aren't really stickers. Stickers is uh, vinyls, decals, whatever you want to call them. Um, look at that, Union. 
I'm, I'm, I am tempted to put that on one of my cars, but it is bloody expensive. Uh, where's, where's the other one? Oh, here we go. Look at that! That looks pretty on the focus. You know what? I actually might put that on the focus. That looks pretty. But anyway, that's further down the line. Interior, um, kind of pointless unless you're like me and you go inside the car and drive around like that. Um, slightly disappointed you can't do all that much to it. I mean, you've got different colours and whatnot. Um, but you can also change the uh, thing from aluminium to carbon to mixed aluminium which is from what I can gather some kind of fabric and aluminium and then same thing but with carbon so on and so on then we get to the good stuff body kits right so we have front bumpers you essentially pick whatever the hell takes your fancy I don't know why there's that black stuff on the top for some reason that is a horrible grill who would put that on their car that is a cheese grater dear god um, yeah and then they got the slightly I like this dog one. Anyway, yeah, but I mean, I mean, I might not even uh, do anything to it. But I'll just show you all the stuff. Whoa, those are exhausts. Oh lord. <laughs> oh, I got my granddad's coughing behind me. Granddad, what's your opinion on those giant exhausts? Oh super. <laughs> oh super. Yes, yes, he's from a different generation. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I'm happy I bought this car. Anything that has massive exhaust is good. Um, yes. Anyway, on the front, front fender, rear fender. I believe fenders are only for uh, the dirt specs, but they are skirts. Sometimes you only get the one. You get a couple of rims. I won't go for the rims because they go forever. But basically, you get the official ones, like so. And then you got road, racing, off road. Vintage, exotic, which, well, yeah, some of them look nice, some of them look bloody horrible. Uh, uh, <coughs> yes, carry on. Side mirrors, why has it got the boot for some reason? There's nothing to buy in this category. Okay, you can't change what the wing mirrors look like. But anyway, rear wing. This, why would you put that on it? And from what I can tell, there's no way to actually remove the spoiler, so your car just has a spoiler on it all the time. I don't know why. Um, I'm not entirely sure which spoiler I prefer either. But anyway, and then you got the uh, hood, or if you're English like me, it's a bonnet, but there you go. No, I'm not going to sit here slagging off the Americans and what they call things. Um, yeah, it's a bonnet, though. Anyway. <laughs> I hate the camera in this view as well. You can't like uh, completely move it around. You just it just sort of does that. I'm just pushing the stick on my uh, Xbox controller right, and that's all it does. It, it, you can't tilt it up. You can't add it. It's a pain in the ass when you're trying to look at uh, uh, decals to see what ones you want to put on your car and so on and so forth. Also, there's color. You got the official ones. You got uh, blue and green. Uh -huh. I don't know why there's no orange. They should be orange for the focus. But yeah, and then you got metallic. Uh, I'm not gonna, uh, I'll go for all the colours from metallic. There you go. Pause the screen when you look, well, find one you like. Anyway, yes. Then you got iridescent, which is. Uh, for some reason, they put iridescent and pearlescent in the same category, but whatever. But, you know. Same meat, different gravy. I like that one. Anyway, yes. Then you got anodized, which is kind of. a crop of. I'm going to blow your minds now with my stupidity as I say this because I can feel myself backing away from this. It's like a cross between metallic and matte. Does that make sense? I won't talk to you. My granddad's just got up and he's fallen asleep in the armchair. It's amazing. But anyway, as you can see, stuff happens. Now then, when it comes to performance, uh, basically you unlock parts as you race. Um, and things happen and uh, god horrible 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 um yeah basically when you complete a race or a challenge or whatever the car you're in gets the part for free all these parts that i have here are from races and challenges that i've done in other cars uh but i have to pay to put them on this one because i didn't do it in this car i hope that makes sense um so yes let's take her out for a spin real quick Yes, exit, exit the car tuner. Come on, hang all day. Now then. 
different noise, the turbo's changed. Handling performance is here, here, spit it out. Handling characteristics is what I'm trying to say for. has changed. Um, and in general, it's very nice. Now then, with that, zoom out please, zoom out some more. Uh, where are we going? We need to go to... No, not the... To... To... Yeah, that, that, that's also annoying. It's incredibly cluttered on the map trying to fast travel to where I'm. Skip the movie, no one cares. Uh, right, go to the collection. Dirt. Now you can see what happens to dirt spec cars. Uh, essentially, the same thing. Uh, same thing goes on. Cutscenes, blah blah. You'll get the idea. Select dirt kit. Um, you unlock these as you progress, obviously. Um, yes, three thousand four hundred. I'm going for crew credits like nobody's business, but who cares? I suffer for you guys. I suffer for you. And there you go. Different fancy cutscene, and uh, you have a yes, it's a brand new car. Well, no okay. Get on with it. Tune the card. I'm going to tune the card so you can have a look at it around it, see what they changed. But wider arches and things in general. I mean, they got, I mean the bumpers have changed, obviously. Um, we got ball bars and so on and so forth. Wow. Why would you? Think? You know what? That's that. That's so retarded. I might. As you know, that one with the fog lights. That one's so retarded. I might actually put that on it if I when I use it for dirt. <laughs> that looks like something I'd drive. Um, yeah, and then uh, fly from real quick. So, so, so. Anyway, oh, you can't change the front fenders on this one. I can change it on my skyline. Yes, you can make the Nissan skyline dirt. For some reason, it had a picture of it uh, when when Raid unlocks. It has an actual picture of a Raid Nissan Skyline. But when I try turning it into Raid, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Oh look, now it will let you change the mirrors to carbon fiber for some reason. Whoa, that is a rally car freaking spoiler right there. What's the other one? Oh, the other one. Uh, so oh hello. Oh, it puts the uh, intake on the roof. That's so if you only go through deep water, you can drown the engine. You see, I know things about cars. And there we have it for dirt. And once again, you'll have the same uh, thing with the upgrade dirt. Take this thing out for a quick spin. Again, Chad. Yeah, charges. I don't in this way, this for some reason. Um, yeah, changes the handling characteristic once again. Doesn't handle anywhere near as nice on tarmac, but you take it on dirt tracks and um, it will monster everything. Um, and it's just very nice in general. Now then, we come to the final thing for the uh, Ford Focus. Obviously, with some cars, there's more, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, where is? Where is? Where is? Where is? Where is? I'll just go to the HQ, it's easier. Just fast travel. Yes, get on with it. Work, uh, collection. And yes, go to the car tune in Miami. We're really jumping around the uh, USA right now, aren't we? Select Perf Kit. <laughs> oh dear, 476. That one you unlock a level 40, but whatever. Oh, yes. Another four grand. The amount of crew credits I spent on this car is ridiculous, but anyway. And now I'm not entirely sure what the point of performance or circuit is because Well I'm not actually entirely sure which one I don't get more, performance or circuit, because Performance is essentially a racing version of street, but circuit is essentially an even more racing version of performance. So I'm not into. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably know more when I actually get a circuit vehicle. Um, and the rims are pointing the wrong way; they're bulging. But that is not, and the one fat exhaust. Anyway, same deal again. Different cosmetic items to choose from. Uh, 
changing on spec to spec. As you'd imagine. Uh, more giant exhausts. Oh god. I can't change that, can't change that. Skirts. Again, more stuff. Side mirrors. You can change it back to normal and put the carbon. Uh, you can put the rally spoiler on. See, look, you can't get a good look at the back. It's stupid. And then you got some giant thing you can put on. Why would you do that? Good. Again, more vents, grills, vents, more vents. I demand more vents on my grills. Yes. Anyway, get the idea with that. Uh, now then, we'll have a quick spin of this. And uh, I'll show you some of the challenges we found off today. It changes the characters again, sticks to the tarmac like glue. Uh, doesn't drift as well as um, street, but I suppose that's kind of the idea, really. It does look pretty. Um, and also, uh, your character has a beard and glasses, which is, uh, well, a nice change, as opposed to generic white man number one. At least you look different than usual. You also wear gloves as well. Driving gloves and a manky leather jacket with a ace of spades. <laughs> Now then, challenges. The challenges are all of these blue triangles. And they vary in what they do. Uh, let's go to this one. We'll drive this just around the corner. You also have skill, like um, perks unlocked on this as well and I have no idea why um, they are a mixed bag to be honest. you get a perk point every time you level up and they are as I said a mixed bag you have some that are quite useful like I've got one that reduces um, I put 10 perk points into it it reduces the cost of all cars at the garage by 30%. That's pretty good. 30% off all cars at any garage. Fair enough. Then you got ones that, uh, when you max them, gives you like a. Oh god, it's like an 8% increase in braking and things like this. And you're sort of like, well, that, that, that's not that good. It's not, you're not even 10% braking. What are you doing of? And it, it, it's just things like that. And you sort of sit there going, well, what's the point? And you got things like. Um, discount on uh, street parts and whatnot, and you're like, oh, right, fair enough. Right, here we go, precision skill, number 55. With this one, you have to drive through the gates. Sounds simple, but uh, you have to be going fast, because uh, you get more points for going through it faster, obviously. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. You miss them, you lose the uh, multiplier. And, yes, it, I, I don't like this one. I really don't, I can't get onto it. Um, traffic is gets in the way a lot and screws me over many, many, many times. There you go, bronze. Level 27. Did it? Up. There you go. Look, minus three. Send part to HQ. You can't sell the parts for some reason. Uh, continue. Well, at least I, I haven't managed to find a way to sell the parts. If there is a way, let me know. Um, let me see. That was racing line. Jump skill, that's fairly obvious. Uh, slalom, again, fairly obvious, but worth showing. That's good with the tuner. And, yeah, as I said, it's... Uh, I mean, I do enjoy this game. The story is kind of... generic for a... Great, like, like I said, if you've played a Need for Speed game before, you've seen this kind of story before. If you, or if, even if you've watched Fast and the Furious, You'll have seen this story a million years ago, and it's blatantly obvious what they're doing with it. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, these skills pass the time when you go into a bay point, but they are um, they are a right pain in the ass, and they don't go the same way as your 
waypoint. You'll be you'll be sitting there, and it'll uh, it'll take you about a mile away from the direction of where you actually want to go. So see, fairly obvious. Same deal. You have to slide them around the points. The faster you go, the more points you get. To be on a street. Some of these um, you should be doing. For instance, I should be doing this in a street car because. Uh, those two things up because I can actually drift in this, it sticks to the floor too much and I have to essentially break to get around the damn thing if you end up going so bloody fast. But you know, pass a bit, oh, 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 see, things like that. Oh, I'm not going to get silver on no. Oh dear, usually I get silver on those, but I'm trying to concentrate talking to you guys as well, that's my excuse. Yeah, minus bloody seven. Um, very, uh, some of them are for higher level, some of them for lower level. So uh, eventually, I'll, if I like go over to, I don't know the west coast. Um, oh, sorry, I haven't got any over by the west coast. There's a couple in Vegas, but if I was to go over to, say here, oh look, we can fast travel to it. Yay! Racing line. This is one of the slightly better ones, um, but I am on a dirt track, so um, yeah, this isn't probably going to go well. Um, <laughs> you can probably get you can get away with using a streetcar on a dirt track, but uh, <laughs> a performance car on a dirt track is not exactly good. Basically, you have to stay to the line, obviously. Slightly go off the line, and it stops your multiplier and your distance and your points, and it screws you over massively. Um, again, the faster you go, the more points you get. Uh, you've got the little tracker thing up in the top left that shows you uh, how far you're away from your next goal. It shows you uh, the world record, your current record, or personal record. Uh, come on. Bloody bronze again! Bastards! Minus six in uh, no send past a freaking HQ. Ugh. And I'm see if I can find one. Where are you? Speed skill. Speed skills aren't bad. Um, it's essentially just follow the road and floor it. Stay on the track, don't crash it. Man. Kid, you're becoming an annoyance. Happy to oh, oblige. Okay. Something tells me you like the direct approach. So I propose this. One race, oh. me and you. Winner stays, loser leaves the territory. See, look, I went off place. by like a millimeter there. To... I, I didn't, I wasn't even off. Oh, now I'm off. The brakes are... God damn, the brakes are terrible. Um, yes. I'm not going to be using this in uh, online any time soon. Uh, yeah, I'm unkind. Uh, I bought this mainly to be a dirt car, but... Uh, where in Christ's name am I going? Where's the waypoint taking me to? I don't know. Um, oh, it's taking me to that. Scramble. Ah, oh, there we go. Escape. This is the more interesting one. Can I fast travel to any of these? I can fast... Fast travel to scramble. Uh, fast travel from one scramble to another. Yeah, I know. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, all of these you can do from either direction. This what do you want? Go ahead. Uh, scramble, I also hate. You basically, have to smash the gates. But they go off roads. Um, my car can't do off-road at the moment. Um, yeah, you have to smack. Yeah, I just assume rage is good for me because they take you like a proper bump that even lower cars can't do or can't do well at least. Still, it's taken me in the general direction as well. You do it. You generally speaking get bronze or silver. You get your stuff. I swear to God, I haven't. I don't think I've even got gold in one of the challenges yet. I've got silver a couple of times. Actually, no, I get silver fairly, fairly often. I get bronze every now and again when I play crap like that. 
You know, I get bronze every now and again. I mostly get silver for these things, but uh, storer for the. Uh, I'm doing quote, uh, air quotation marks for you. Unfortunately, you can't see it, so um, I'll just have to imagine that I'm air quoting marks. Um, it's uh, mostly for the story, at least. Oh wow, hello! Where was that waypoint going? It's like a real sat now, but it just didn't have a clue. It was like, go that way. Can I actually even... Oh, there's a bridge. Steady. Steady. Just trying. Leave me alone. I'm going to get there before you can go. Thank you. Man. And, uh, yeah, the uh, air quotation marks story. Um, yeah, I've get gold in a, a good amount of them. Not a lot, but a good amount. Um, usually it sets you on fair goals. You just sit there going, you need 16,000 points. And I'm like, well, how do you get 16,000 points? It's a race. I come first and it goes, oh, you got silver. I'm like, well, what is the criteria? Oh, you're not being exact, you know. Oh, God, I just realised I'm not in a dirt car. And this is like, oh, whatever. We'll do it anyway. You have a good idea. Essentially, it's a big red radius thing you get the sun from it. The further away you get from it, the more points and loot you get. So. It's gaining on me. I'm not going fast enough. Ah, oh, that's a damn shame. Usually, those are the ones I get gold in because uh, normally they're near a road. I can just floor it and go down the road, but this one, this is raid country. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, you can see some of the more interesting slash unpleasant parts of the crew today. Um, not much racing, but you get to see the, uh, the rest of the crew. Uh, I'll probably upload a uh, a, rate, a proper race tomorrow. Well, whether that'll be an online race or a story race, or whatever, I don't know, but. Um, Stay tuned for that. But like I said, this stuff was for um, passing the time stuff. And there is... Ugh. Ugh. Yay! The server shut down for scheduled maintenance. I didn't know when it would be because it was in American time. It didn't put up GMT, so I didn't have a bloody clue. So anyway, thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, as per usual. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Ta-da.